Hi, I'm Rick Knopfy with Presonus Audio, and I want to tell you about our new RM series mixers. So we have two different models, the RM16 AI, and this one is the RM32 AI. Now these are both 32 input 25 bus mixers, but the RM16 AI has 16 analog inputs, 8 analog outputs, and then 3 main outputs, mono and stereo. And then the RM32 has 32 analog inputs, 16 mix outputs, and then the same 3 outputs, mono and left-right stereo. You can control either of the RM series mixers using either uh, Mac or PC or an iPad or a Windows 8 surface and they are optimized for multi-touch so um, right now I've got it hooked up here to a Windows 8 uh, surface computer and so basically you can see I can scroll through and look at all of the channels um, the other thing that's really cool is you have a, a lot of great visual feedback so on the bottom here you can see all 32 channels input channels simultaneously so if I see something peaking on this side if I just touch it'll scroll over to this side of the mixer or I can touch like this or I can scroll like this when I select the mixer I've got a full uh, fat channel with EQ compressor gate limiter and of course you can basically select points just like this and we have these really cool dialog boxes so you know we got rid of the rotary knob software knobs which you can never really figure out how to control with this you just touch a parameter box and you can go up or down and then when you let go it goes away so it's really easy to just grab a parameter like this or you can grab a point like that we have a really cool new uh, way to load presets to a particular channel so here I can basically touch a preset like this and hit load and it'll load it in but you also have this great audition mode. What that allows you to do is if I put it in audition mode, I can have, let's say, the musician play, and I can just flip through different presets, and it'll actually change while I'm flipping through and let me hear the change, but it hasn't yet loaded it. So once I find one that's close, I can either load it or I can make a little tweak and then hit load. And then just like the regular Studio Live mixers, you have the ability to basically load whatever component of the fat channel you like. So let's say if I like the EQ of this particular one, but I don't like the gator compressor, I can take off the gator compressor before I load it in. So it allows you to really easily create your own presets. Now just like the regular desktop Studio Live mixers, we also have channel AB. So what that allows you to do is set up two different fat channels per channel so let's say if this is an electric guitar channel and I'm gonna switch in the middle of a gig from a Les Paul to a Strat on that channel I can set up an EQ and a compression setting for the Strat and then an EQ and compression setting for the Les Paul and then basically just switch like this and you have that on every single input channel so you know a 32 channel mixer actually has 64 channels of EQ compression gating at your fingertips. Um, this section right here is where you can switch through the different auxes and as you can see you can set these up in mono or stereo so these are mono right here and the big ones right here you can see are stereo and you can make any number uh, any combination uh, you have 16 mono mixes or 8 stereo mixes or anything in between and to link you know two mixes together you just select like let's say mix seven I hit link and now I've created a stereo aux and then to name it you just click on it right here and you can name it like that so that's really easy to do and then the other thing that's great is is you have graphic EQs on every single output so if uh, let's say if this is a monitor on stage I just hit GEQ and I've got a 31 band graphic right here you also have that on your main outputs as well so and you can just flip through the graphics like this and of course just like the regular studio lives you have draw mode so you can just you know basically drag your finger across to draw in a EQ curve like that and reset it like that so it's really cool you also have the ability to um, load in 
mute groups and scenes. So uh, I can basically, you know, create a mute group by just hitting a couple of mutes here, hit store, it blinks saying, where do you want to store it to? I can store it right here. And now, you know, I can recall a mute group very easy. Or you can have all of the mutes come on or off. And then right here, I can set up eight of my most common scenes and store and recall them very easily. Or I can pull up a list of up to 99 different slots of memory. And one of the things that's really cool about the, the new mixers is the fact that you now have digitally controlled mic pre's. So this is actually a brand new mic pre design that is a digitally recallable mic pre and so it's also stored. So you have full digital recall with the RM series mixers. Um, right here at the end, this is your mono master output and your main output. Okay, and on the settings you can configure this to true left center right or you can actually use this as a mono out to feed like subwoofers or so. So that in a nutshell is the RM series mixers. They are shipping worldwide now and the US street price for these, the 16 channel one is $13.99 and the 32 channel one is $19.99. Thanks a lot for watching.